almost 30,000 people ask me how I get my skin like this. And while I do girl boss, and I might gaslight, I do not gatekeep. And just so we're on the same page, I have dry skin with some hormonal acne. I'm out of my regular lotion, so I just use Lubriderm. And then I pat rosehip carrier oil all over my face. Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Oof. Huda Beauty Nymph Glaze in the shade Aphrodite. This is just kind of like a cream highlighter. I use a flat brush to put this all over my face, and yes, it looks crazy, but we're gonna we're trusting the process, okay? Once my eyebrows and eyes are done, I color correct under my eyes just with LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I blend this out with my finger. For foundation, I use Derma Blend Flawless Creator Foundation Drops mixed with the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. I apply this with a beauty blender and I didn't use it for like a year and I forgot how just soft it is on your face. After foundation I use e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Light Sand in on the high points of my face and I know you can still see texture right now. That's going to get covered later, just wait. Then I use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Walnut as cream contour. Y'all were begging me for this. It's the NYX Sweet Cheeks Cream Blush in the shade Coralicious and I put it all right there. I typically blend out the darker places on my face first and then go into the lighter ones because I can kind of use that to help blend the darker bits out. Once that's all blended, I lightly set my entire face with Beauty Bakery Loose Setting Powder. I use Patrick Ta for powder contour, then NYX uh, Powder Blush in the shade Torrid. This is where my skin actually starts to look good. I'm going to use a hydrating face mist. This is from Mana. Kadar. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I just spray that all over my face. Like, I want my face to be wet. Once my face is pretty much dry, I'm going to dip into my powder and get the excess off on my arm like that to pack it in and go under anywhere that I want to get rid of texture. Like, so you can really see now how much smoother my face looks overall. I'm not quite done. I highlight with the Wander Beauty Getaway palette. My eyes and lips are done, so this is what my face makeup looks like when it's fully completed. And yeah, like, I still have zits and stuff, but, like, it still looks so good. Also, I had the beauty filter on in that video, so this is it with the beauty filter on. And then this is it without the beauty filter on. I hope this helped. I know it's a lot of steps, but I hope it helped.